An update now in the gruesome killing of a tech CEO on the Lower East Side. The man accused in his murder was arraigned overnight. And sources tell CBS2 about a possible motive in the case. CBS2's Ali Bauman reports. 21-year-old Tyrese Haspel ignored questions from reporters Friday as he was walked out of the 7th Precinct in handcuffs, wearing a white jumpsuit and horn-rimmed glasses. Haspel is charged with the gruesome murder of 33-year-old tech CEO Fahim Saleh. Mr. Haspel was Mr. Saleh's executive assistant and handled his finances and personal matters. Police say Monday afternoon, Haspel and Saleh rode the elevator up together at the victim's luxury condo building on East Houston Street. The suspect dressed in a black suit with his face covered, seemingly unrecognized by the victim. When the elevator opened directly to Saleh's apartment, police believe Haspel tased and then stabbed his boss in the torso and neck. Haspel allegedly returned the next day to dispose of the victim's body, police sources tell CBS2, but was interrupted by the victim's cousin, possibly buzzing up from the lobby. Mr. Fahim Saleh's cousin discovered his dismembered body in the living room of his apartment with his head, arms, and legs amputated. An electric saw was near the remains. Sources tell us police have surveillance video that shows the suspect sneaking out of the building as the victim's cousin was coming up the elevator. Friday morning, Haspel was arrested about a mile away in NoHo. He was very calm. They just walked him around the corner, put him in the car. Investigators spent the afternoon going in and out of the suspect's Prospect Park apartment building. You never know uh, what your neighbors are capable of. Um, and I think my girlfriend and I are just really happy that he's been arrested because uh, pretty sketch knowing someone's just a couple doors down that could do something like that. Ali Bauman, CBS 2 News. Investigators were apparently led to the suspect by credit card statements and other electronic records, which is how police reportedly found out about the alleged embezzlement.